Ngayon ay mag-analyze naman tayo ng uh, function or uh, function f of x gamit ang uh, graph ng f prime or yung derivative graph. So sa lesson na ito, matututunan natin kung paano magbasa uh, ng graph ng f prime para ma uh, describe yung uh, behavior at yung graph ng function f or yung original function na hindi ginagamit yung graph ng f of x. So, una natin gagawin, since itong graph na nakikita nyo ay yung graph ng f prime of x or yung derivative graph, una natin ililabel will be the positive value ng derivative at yung negative value ng derivative. So, to answer the first problem, kailangan daw identify natin yung x-coordinate ng mga critical value at ang mga critical values or critical numbers ng ating uh, function f ay makikita sa points of intersection ng ating f prime graph along the x-axis. So, ang mga candidates natin will be x equal to negative 2, x equal to 0, at x equal to 2. Now, to justify the answer, the reason is that um, yung ating f prime is changing values from positive to negative at those values of x. So, yung mga critical numbers natin will be yung mga points of intersection ng ating f prime sa x-axis. Now, how are we going to determine the relative extrema? So relative max is when yung graph ng f prime nag-change from positive to negative. At nag -e exist siya sa ating critical numbers sa x equal to negative 2. Negative 2 since yung ating... Uh, um, f prime ay nagbago from positive to negative. At yung atin namang relative min or local min At nag-change siya from negative to positive. So, ito yung mga negative values natin. Mga negative. Going to positive value up here is here at this point sa critical value na ito. So, relative min is at x equal to 0. Now, hindi natin pwedeng gamitin si 2 kasi yung uh, values nga nagstay sa positive even though yung uh, bend ng graph natin ng f prime is nasa 2. So yung relative max and relative min ay ma-identify natin by looking at the graph of f prime. Now for letter C, we're going to find where the intervals are increasing and decreasing. So alam natin na ang function ay nag increase kung ang f prime natin ay na positive at decreasing naman when our f prime is negative. So f is decreasing. Decreasing siya dito. So yung inter interval niya is negative 2 and 0. f is decreasing at the interval negative 2 and 0 since f prime is negative. At nag uh, increase naman siya. f is increasing 
yung original function ay nag increase at our interval na positive. Ito yung mga interval na positive kasi nasa positive side siya, tsaka ito yung interval na yun, at tsaka ito. So since endpoint ito, so that means yung ating function ay nasa closed interval na negative 3 and positive. So if we're going to write our um, interval na increasing, silang mga positive yung nag increase so pwede natin isulat si negative 3 up until negative 2 at 0. I mean, op open right here, open parentheses, and parentheses at 0. And so since this is also positive, at tumuloy-tuloy siya dito, so pwede natin sabihin from 0 up until 3. Closed kasi, closed yung interval. So f is increasing at interval negative 3 and negative 2. This one is a parenthesis. And generally 3 since f prime is positive. Now, concavity naman, ma-identify natin ang concavity ng ating function by looking at the direction ng ating f prime. So, yung concave up, makikita natin siya dito sa interval na to kasi mapapansin nyo, yung slope ng ating f prime ay positive or going up from here to here at also from here to here. Positive siya. So, ito yung ating concave up at saka ito. Yan yung representation ng concavity given the f prime graph. So, f is concave up at the interval. So, from here to here. So, negative 1 to 1. Negative 1 to 1. And from here to here kasi pataas siya. And at 2 to 3. Since f prime is increasing. Or we can say, uh, there. So it's concave off from here since f prime is increasing or the slope is positive. And decreasing, I mean, concave down naman siya. F is concave down. At the interval. Na pababa. So, ito naman yung mga pababa. So, from here to here and from here to here. So, from negative 3 up until negative 1. And 1 up until 2. Parentheses. Since f prime is decreasing or the slope is negative. So yan yung ating analysis for concavity using f prime. Now yung ating analysis for the point of inflection. Ang point of inflection ng ating, uh, ng ating f graph ay makikita sa mga bends ng ating f prime graph. So ito ito at ito ang ating mga point of inflection. So, point or POI will be at x equal to negative 1, x equal to 1, and x equal to 2. And ang reason yan is dahil yung uh, concavity or yung F double prime natin uh, changed uh, its directions from positive to negative and negative to positive. So,
So, ito yung ating complete analysis ng ating f, f function given yung ating f prime graph.